translating from your native language into English when speaking is a very frustrating way of improving your fluency. If you've done it, you already know that this is not a good way to speak. Instead, you should start thinking in English. When you do this, you don't get stuck anymore and your speaking becomes more fluent. That's why in this video, I have decided to share with you some smart ways you can think in English. When I was in high school, I used to think that if I memorize a lot of words and their meanings, I would become fluent. I tried it, I started learning words from my English book. I would memorize a word, then I would translate that word into my native language and learn its meaning. This method did not work. I still could not speak English. I had to think of a sentence in my native language. Then I had to translate that sentence into English in my head and then I would say it out loud. This is a very slow and frustrating process. When you are in the middle of a conversation, you don't have time to translate. The other person is waiting for you to speak. You have to say something immediately. When someone asks you a question, you need to be able to respond right away. You can't do that when you translate. But when you think in English, during a conversation, your brain will automatically switch to English mode. You will know exactly what to say without translating from your native language. So how do you think in English properly and effectively? The first step is to name objects around you. This is a very simple and easy way of thinking in English. All you do is look around you and start naming the things you see. For example, this is a headphone. There's my coffee mug, it has eyes. There's a curtain, there's a window behind it. This is my work desk. Those are chairs. You get the idea. Name different objects around you. Do this exercise, especially when you go out. When you go out for a walk or you go out to buy groceries, name the things you see. You don't have to say the names out loud. You can just think about the names in your head. But what if you don't know the name of a certain object? Well, then it's a great opportunity for you to learn some vocabulary. Check out that word in a dictionary. Speaking of dictionaries, I recommend using a dictionary that gives you a picture of the word or its definition in English. Don't use the dictionaries that translate words for you into your native language. Remember, translation in general is not good for your fluency. Personally, I use Cambridge Dictionary. So yeah, name objects around you. That's the first step. Once you start naming objects around you and it becomes easy and you know how to do it, then you can try the second step. Describe your actions as you're doing them. It's a great way to think in English effectively. Basically, when you're doing something, just describe it in English. You can say things like, I'm walking, I'm writing on my laptop, I'm watching a video, I'm having a breakfast, I'm recording a video. The main idea is to make simple sentences about something you're currently doing. But here is a problem. You might run out of things to think about. For instance, you might say, I'm walking, I'm riding, now what? What do I think about next? To fix this problem, I use a method. Here is how it works. Let's take the walking example. You say, I'm walking. Don't stop thinking here. Begin the next sentence with the last word of this sentence. Like you can say, I'm walking. Walking is a good exercise. Exercise improves health. Health is something to be taken care of. Take care of your family. Family means parents and siblings. Siblings are annoying, so on and so forth. You continue doing this until you get tired. You will never run out of things to think about. You simply begin the next sentence with the last word of the previous one. Believe me, you will never run out of things to think about if you follow this method. I just gave you one example, the walking example. You can do this with any sentence. Think about the thing you're doing right now and from there start making up these simple sentences in your head. Trust me, if you follow this method, your speaking fluency will improve a lot. First, you name objects around you and then you move on to something a little difficult which is making up these small and simple sentences. To take this a step further, try to have a conversation with yourself. Now it might seem like it's a little bit difficult, but it's really not that hard. All you do is, you sit down in a quiet place, alone, you select a topic and you start having a conversation with yourself about it. Make it seem like you're talking with another person, but don't say words out loud. 
Remember, this is all in your head. You're just thinking, you're not saying sentences. You're not talking with yourself. You're just thinking of having a conversation with yourself. I tried it many times, it works. Sometimes when I'm not doing anything, I sit down and I start having a conversation with myself in my head. Now it might seem like I'm crazy, but I'm not. It really improves your fluency. Now if you feel like this is too hard and you can't do it or it feels kind of weird, then quit English. Just give up on it. You don't have to learn it. No, just kidding. Of course, don't give up. Commit. Don't quit. If having a conversation with yourself seems a bit difficult, then try the next step, which is to think about your dreams in English. We all have these fantasies or dreams, things we want to get. Maybe you want to get a yacht or a big mansion. We think about these things, we think about our future, but we do it in our native language. I want you to change that. I want you to think about your dreams and your future in English from now on. I want to get a million subscribers on my YouTube channel. I want to make a whole ton of money. I want to be famous. It always feels nice to think about our dreams. Why not think about them in English? Like, why not? Why not? Let's continue before I lose my mind. In a nutshell, first start naming objects around you. Then you move on to something a little more mature and a little difficult, which is to make up these small and simple sentences in your head. Describe your actions as you're doing them. Next, have conversations with yourself in English. If this feels a little awkward or weird, then think about your dreams and your future plans in English. All right, start from today. Start from today. Start thinking in English for at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. You can choose a specific time for it or what I like to do is that I like to think in English whenever I feel like doing it. Your choice. Okay, if you've learned something from this video, hit the like button. If you would like to ask a question, write it down in the comment section. Lots of love. See you in the next one.